Hey guys, so this is my latest acquisition. This is an IBM Intellistation Power Model 265. This is a machine that will stay between the uh, R6000 Model 170 and the Model 270, hence the, the 265 name. It does not have an, an R6000 badge because this does not come from the R6000 team. The Intellistation is basically a rebadged IBM eServer P Series Model 610. It just has a slightly different CPU, it's got less, less cache and a uh, better graphics adapter, of course the e-server doesn't need one. So on the front we have a nice door, that's the same as the e-server, minus the badge. Um, here you have the uh, operator panel, floppy drive, CD, which is actually uh, IDE, the CD drive, and this is a drive cage. Uh, this model here, this is the entry level one, it, it retailed for about uh, $13,000 in 2002. Uh, this model here does not have a, um, this is the baseline, so it does not have a drive backplane, so they're all blanks, but there's actually no backplane in the back. Uh, the only hard drive that's present, it's an 18.2 gigabyte drive that sits behind the um, operator panel. So, uh, on the back, um, you would have here a um, acoustic dampening uh, cover that's not present on mine. You have three power supplies, they are 250 watts each, and uh, I think you need two of them for the machine to operate. Um, there's a space for a third one for redundancy. You have the uh, uh, output fan, easily removable. And here we have the uh, back ports. So you would have a PS2 keyboard and mouse, three serial ports where serial 1 and 2 can be used for accessing the um, system console and service processor, two Ethernet ports, a um, rack indicator or something, um, it's a special IBM connector, it's used on most of their servers uh, of that period, uh, power and attention LED, parallel port and SCSI. And finally, on the back here, you have the DVI output, DVI-D, and a stereo 3D glasses output. You also have here a cable guide. Um, it's interesting to note that there are four uh, spaces for power cables, but you only have three power supplies, so uh, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, lastly, uh, let me uh, pop the cover and I'll show you what's inside. To release the, fr the um, side panel, it's just a simple latch. You pull this, you pull this towards the back, and it pops open like this. Inside you have basic information about the system. You have the uh, ports layout, you have the main system components, and the uh, main planar layout. They actually call it system board. Um, they don't call it planar like. Um, they do on most of their uh, other devices. Um, inside, it's, a, it's actually a fairly simple unit. We have a light path indicator, like on uh, the, uh, the servers. You have the power supply cage with the power distribution board. It sits right here. This is what uh, IBM calls the KEC, or Central Electronics Complex. This is a name borrowed from uh, the mainframes. That's basically where the CPU and memory are located. Uh, on the bottom here we have the GPU and here we have a couple of uh, blower fans which I think I used to cool the drives uh, that will be present in the drive bay. Uh, in this case there are none. I think they just move some air into the chassis. They are fairly easy to remove like old fans. You just push the lever and pull them off. It's quite simple. And this would give you access to the back plane. In my case there is only a uh, metal plate here. Uh, probably for shielding. Um, this is the CPU fan and to remove the CAC you just pull here, the CAC cover, sorry, and it unlatches, there we go. And here you have a blank because mine is a single CPU model. Um, this is a very basic piece of sheet metal. Um, it's actually not even fixed uh, all that nicely so it, it keeps on rattling, um, $13,000, and uh, they give you this thing. In fact, when I was carrying it home, uh, it, kept, it kept on making uh, fairly, uh, fa 
lots of rattling noises and um, I thought that one of the heat sinks came loose or something else which was, was this thing here that was uh, moving inside. To remove the CPU, fairly simple, uh, two latches. You pull it off and that is the power free CPU. Uh, we got the voltage regulator here, some big ass capacitors and that's the CPU with its massive, uh, massive ceramic die. Uh, sorry, ceramic chip. Well, the die is not ceramic. It's really big. It's definitely very big and uh, very expensive for sure. The only difference between this one, this CPU here and the one used in the um, eServer P series is that this one here has two megs of cache, while the other one has four. So next up, got memory. with some foam that fortunately hasn't degraded yet. And that's the memory board. Uh, I got some blanks here, probably for airflow. Um, this is the, I think the memory controller with the same massive uh, ceramic chip. And here you have the RAM, which I think it's regular uh, ECC uh, DDR memory, nothing special here. But I actually haven't checked. My machine has two gigs of it, and uh, there are more than enough for what I need to do. Um, to remove the GPU, um, it's very simple. Unlatch this, unlatch this little lever here. You pull up this black thing and you just pull the cut off. Again, it would be easier to do with two hands, but there it is. That's the GXT 4500P, so that's not the highest end uh, graphics card because it lacks the um, second ASIC. Uh, this is uh, the first one, this is the main one, uh, it's an IBM custom chip, again same uh, package, um, just like the CPU with a ceramic chip, which is pretty nice. Uh, there are also some pretty cool uh, voltage regulator modules like this uh, TI Excalibur and with some big ass trace actually, look at that, and uh, yeah that's that's the graphics uh, card, uh, that's not present in the um, e-server model. Uh, it's actually the same that's used on the two other uh, R6000 ones. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, one quick note, uh, the system battery is right there, so it sits right inside the CAC. So if you want, so if you want to remove the, the, to replace the battery, you have to take pretty much the entire machine apart and good luck doing that while the machine is on, so you, you must turn it off, which is not that nice. Um, but apart from that, here's the um, a quick tour of my IBM Intel Station Model 265. Hope you liked it and more videos to follow. Thank you.